I never see anybody like Nkrumah. I want to see more. They are trying, but they can't reach the man. It's kind of sad knowing that Dr. Kwame Nkrumah did majorly everything we see that is functioning, that is everything we are gaining from was made by him. It's kind of sad. I would say he was selfless. Selfless in the sense that he wasn't only looking at Ghana, but looking beyond Ghana, Africa as a whole. He did all that and I asked myself, so then what did our leaders do? I mean, that's true. We should be way, way ahead of what he did for us. The foundation has already been laid. But it seems some of our former presidents had different ideas. Some too, I would say, they were they just came for themselves, for the, just for the family, family and friends. If he's alive today, he'll be proud to see where Ghana has come. I'm not sure. <laughs> he'll shake his head. Today happens to be the birthday of our first Prime Minister of this country. That is Kwame Nkrumah who led us to gain independence. I'm here at the Kwame Nkrumah Museum. There's a video I'll be bringing out to you guys to show you the new place, how it looks like. It has been renovated and there's a lot of things to talk about. But today we are here to ask some few Ghanaians who are here to celebrate the birthday of Kwame Nkrumah to ask them what they think about Kwame Nkrumah and what they know about Kwame Nkrumah. You know, most of the generation now don't know or didn't meet a Kwame Nkrumah or see him alive. But let's go and see what they know about him and what they can see. Wherever you are, we are here to learn. Let me know what you think about this video and also share with us things that you know about Kwame Nkrumah wherever you are watching me from and let me know where you are watching me from. I'll see you, let's go hear them out. My name is Anes. Where are you from? I'm from the Volta region of Ghana. Ah, yeah. Volta region, the most beautiful place with good beaches. Anyway, what are you doing here? Wow, okay, so today is Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's birthday. Okay. And as we all know, we are here, there is a renovation that has gone on in the We are here to view the beautiful museum. How did you say the place to Oh, it's a very beautiful place. Like, I love it. Yes, mm. I've taken a lot of pictures that I'll be posting on Instagram. Yeah. Is it your first time coming here? Yeah, this is my first time. Oh, okay, yeah. I've been here several times. So, as we are celebrating Kwame Nkrumah's birthday today, what do you know about him? Okay, so... I know he was born on 21st September 1909 in Nkrofu in the Western region. Yeah, and he was a great man. He won independence for the country, for Ghana. Yeah. Uh, my name is Captain. Captain is my real name, though. Wow. Uh, do you work in the ship? I have no business with the ship, and I'm not in the army, too. Okay. But my name was given to me after my grandfather, oh. who happened to be in the military, though. Wow. Yes. That's yeah. really interesting. So, what, what brought you here today? So, after the renovation of the New Kwame Kwame Museum, I've never been here, so since today is his birthday and his founders year, I just want to come and experience what our dear president did for the late, 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 late president. Is it your first time here? Uh, this is like my fifth time here. Oh, that's great. So how do you see the new place and what can you see about it? Uh, it's beautiful. A lot of state-of-the-art works, mm -hmm. a lot of new stuff. Uh, the maintenance too is good. I don't want to say because it's kind of aba fresh, like it's fresh, that is why. But everything looks really, really state of the art, like modern and beautiful. Wow. All right, so my name is Niai. What's your name? My name is Ibrahim Bawa. I'm a reggae artist. Yeah, I'm from Vota region. My father from Boku. Today being in Kruma's birthday, as we are all here at the Kwame Kruma Museum celebrating his birthday, what do you know about him and what can you tell people about Nkruma? Yeah, Nkruma. Yeah, I can just say our first president is Nkrumah, and he, he did a lot to Ghana. Uh, Compared to the other, the the president that we are getting now, yeah. For my experience, yeah, I never see anybody like Nkrumah. Yeah, I want to see more. Yeah, people, yeah, they are trying, but they can't reach the man. Wow, I'm gonna win. That's really nice. Thank you. I, I like what I'm seeing. Are, are you a winner? I am a winner, guys. Wow. If you are out there, try to be a winner. Yeah. Um, my name's Nay. What's your name? I'm Liana Isi Texan, but you can call me Lovely. Oh, I see. And where are you come from? I'm from Dansoman, actually. Yes. Whoa. Do you know Dansoman Estate was built by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah? Well, okay, now and, I know. <laughs> and it's the biggest est estate in West Africa. Yes, I know that one. You need to visit yeah. it. So tell me, you've been a yeah, Ghanaian. Cool. I know you didn't come to meet Nkrumah. Yeah. You've heard us so yeah. much things about him. Yeah, guys. What do you know about boy, him and boy. what can you share? I know he gained independence for us and okay. um, yeah. And he was the first president of Ghana. He did a lot 
actually going into the museum if you enter there you see lots of things at like Dummy Bridge, the universities, the dam, Akosomo Dam where we gain our power from. Yep. He did all that guys and I asked myself so then what did our leaders do? I'm sorry but <laughs> No that's the truth, feel free. You're I don't Ghanaian. Know. Yeah. So it's kind of sad knowing that Dr. Kwame Nkrumah did majorly everything we see that is functioning, that is everything we are gaining from was made by him. It's kind of sad to see, okay, what did the other presidents do? Or our current presidents, what are they doing? Our fathers, we don't know, but I wish he was still here. Do you think if Nkrumah was to be alive today, where Ghana has come so far, do you think he himself would be proud? <laughs> he'll shake his head <laughs> why, why do you think he'll shake his head well because the Ghana we are seeing now it's more like back and forth we keep going and then coming back going and coming back we are still we are still getting there we are not there yet but we are still getting there because right now the youth are running away mm. everybody's going like me like this uh, I don't know <laughs> hey lovely baby how are you I'm fine Wow, such a beautiful and cute baby. My name is Nia. What's your name, sir? My name is David. What brings you here? My case had learned about coming from my school, wow. I think, last week. So since today happens to be a holiday and a day for him as well, we decided to bring, bring them here to enjoy their place. Yes. So tell me, as a Ghanaian, what do you know about Kwame Um Aside, aside um, saying that he was born on 21st of September. Okay. Um, I also know that he attended school in Lincoln. Yeah. Yes, and he was overthrown on 24th of February 1966. Mm. Yes, yeah. and probably I can say his bosom friend is Seko Ture. Exactly. Yes. Where he went to the exile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But do, 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 do you know some of the biggest thing that he achieved um, as a president that made Ghana one of the biggest nations among um, the whole of Africa and the world? Um, I, I, I would say he was selfless. Selfless in the sense that he wasn't only looking at Ghana, but looking beyond Ghana, so Africa as a whole. He trying to um, speak with other African countries for us to be unified, for us to be one. So um, in terms of the facilities that he did for Ghana, I will mention like Akosombo, I will mention the textiles industry, I also mentioned the shoe factory. So. Um, I nearly said, yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> among all the things he did, looking at those days that he was able to do that, can you say that our leaders have failed us, that they couldn't maintain what he started with? We should be far ahead more than this. Um, that's true. We should be way, way ahead of what he did for us. The foundation has already been laid, but it seems some of our former presidents had different ideas. I don't want to sit here and bombard them with um, so many stuff like they didn't do well, but they also experienced a different era. Some too, I would say they were, um, they just came for themselves, for the, just for the family, family and friends. Probably you might not come to meet him in person, you know, but there's a lot of things we've heard about him. You personally, what can you share that makes you love him? Okay, so... I really love him for the fact that he won independence for our great country. With the big six, I mean, or with the other five, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And that, has, that is what has made Ghana, brought Ghana to where it is today, actually. Yes, he has really been, been good to us, I mean. If not for him, I don't think we'll have the freedom we enjoy here, yeah, like now, yeah. But let me ask you this question. Do you think if Kwame Kuman was to be alive today, he would be proud where Ghana is? Oh, he won't. He will. He will be very, very proud. Aside, you know, there are some hitches, but with that, you know, we are humans okay. and we are bound to make mistakes. So, definitely, he will have some regrets, but in all, he will be very proud. Yeah. So, as a Ghanaian, what can you say about Kwame Nkrumah? What, what do you know about him? Well, for me, I know Kwame Nkrumah to be the pan, pan Africanist. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, for 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 having a plan for for. For Ghana, having read through all the um, press presidents who have come, I think he's the only one who, who seems to have a clear vision for Ghana and for Africa at large. Looking at the number of things he brought 
on board for the seven or nine nine years that he lived. I think he he has his his he's a person we need to celebrate more. Can, can, oh, sorry, baby. No worry. Can you share some of the great things that um, he did? Okay, so I know that he built a lot, lot of companies. My grandfather worked with SEC State Construction, and um, even this morning, my grandma was, was was telling me that it was because of Nkuma. That was how come my grandfather was able to land um, a job. Aside that, and other state institutions that he brought on board the Tema ship, Shipyard, the Tema Motowi, um, the estates, the um, Dasuma estates, for, for instance. I think he, 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 he has done so, so much more that we need to celebrate him. Looking at what he did and where we are now, do you think if Nkrumah was to be alive, he would be proud about Ghana? I wish he was alive and he's still, he is still the president of Ghana now. Do you think if he's alive today, he will be proud to see where Ghana has come? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What makes you think so? Because um, for the legacies he, he put in place, and what we have seen seen now. Let me say we've we've been bad children. Children as as though our parents have left us a lot of proper practice and then we mess them up. That's that's how come that's how we have we have been as a queen. And I don't think any father would be proud of such such children. But what exactly have you heard about him or read about him or something about him that you really love? Uh, okay. Uh, the things like car assembly, like the um, the poultry farm and I know I hear they say those days we we supplying chicken to other countries but now other countries are supplying a chicken and and I, I don't know how to say but that man is you know I don't think we can get somebody like Nkrumah yeah so so you believe Nkrumah never died oh yeah Nkrumah never died Nkrumah, I can feel the spirit here just as we are here you can feel some some air. Can you you can feel some air blowing right now? That you know the man, yeah, he's alive. Yeah, he's alive. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you too. Do you see Ghana becoming better one day? Oh yes, I believe in. Or should I say, I'm very optimistic. So Ghana, yes, it's possible. I don't want to say 10 years or 20 years, but we are not like this in 1957. And in 2023, we look different. A lot has happened. So, uh, this is a very important question I want to ask you. Do you see Ghana becoming a better Ghana one day? <sighs> on the on the on the grounds that I'm a I'm a Christian, I would say there is there is hope. Okay. Yes, but looking at that, at how things are going, I don't think. <laughs> but let's let's hope for the for the for the best. Maybe the youth would, would have to come and change. Things. <laughs> All right. If someone is watching us and have never been to Ghana before or don't know much about Ghana, what will you tell them to make them come to Ghana? Ghana is a nice, nice place. A place where you have peace to go up about your activities without um, fear. Um, we are loving people. We care a, a lot for others. Feel free, come and enjoy Ghana, and then you, you never miss out. It's nice talking to you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's been an awesome time coming your way with this beautiful video. And wherever you're watching me from, please let me know what you think about Ghana. If you've ever been to Ghana before, share your experience with me. Let me know what you think about Kwame Nkrumah and what you know about him. And thank you for watching. Before we go, your name again and then your channel. My name is Liana AC Texan and I, my channel name is... It's Lovely TV. Lovely TV. Yeah, L O V E L E E T V together. Wow. So as her channel goes, lovely. She is very lovely too. And I know when you go there, you love what she does. Yeah. I'll see you on my next episode. My name is Niai, aka Ganyubi, the guy who tells story from Ghana. Say hola bawo. Hola bawo. <laughs> Peace out. Hey, where, where, where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still pushing. I'm still Hey!
sweet go make up